rolling. Mics are on. Welcome to episode one of, I haven't thought of a title yet for this series, but I'm sure by the time I upload it, will that be tomorrow night or who knows, honestly, lads. Um, I've spent a lot of time over the past few months trying to figure out where I go with content. I just don't feel like the content I've been making over the past few years is still me. I still enjoy making it, but I don't feel like it hits as much on YouTube and fitness was like low key, going in, the, in a direction, it, it was gonna crash and I feel like it did. Um, I'm not gonna like say anything negative about anything or give an opinion, but like you see Christian made a new channel um, people have stopped uploading. I, I could talk about this forever, but I feel like we should just keep this what it is, man. The bulk series. I feel like this type, this type of content is like Glenn 2.0. This is me, man. This is, this is the stuff that I was excited to get up and film today, which I haven't felt like that in... Honestly, probably since like show day. Um, but today is day one of the book for me, like day one. I've done a mini cut up until today. I weighed in at 183 pounds, which is like five pounds above stage weight. Now I look a lot different because as you can see, the kid got a hair transplant, so I haven't been able to train for two weeks. So I feel like I look flat. I just, I look like I haven't trained in two weeks. Does that make sense? But um, I'm excited to get back today, it's early. Um, what time are we at? It is 8.35. I know that's not early to some people, but it is to me. Plan, plan for this series. Um, it's just this. Did you see a single jump cut yet? I fucked up a couple of times, just kept going. This is gonna be a direct window into this bulk. And the reason I feel okay with making it just about this bulk is because this is gonna be, to say the least, an exciting series. Um, I'm still on the fence whether I wanna get into the details of, like you know what I dabble in, um, whether I wanna get into the details of that. I will spend like the next day or two thinking about that. Uh, do I wanna bring that to the series or do I want that to be a side, but it is a huge chunk of it. Um, I'll figure that out. But anyway, it's gonna be raw. It's gonna be essentially this. Um, I'm so happy that this style of content has come back because this is the shit that I love doing. I've got sick of sitting at a laptop for four hours on one clip, doing jump cuts, doing transition sounds. I just feel like YouTube vlogs was going up, the standard was being raised, 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 raised. And it hit a point where there was no top in that. And, and that's the likes of Christian and, and just other people with, with full-time videographers making movies for videos. And this is not me saying anything bad about it. I watched those videos. I loved, but I, I, I didn't enjoy trying to compete or make videos like that. Otherwise the channel just died. So I've, I've just, I don't know whether it's just with age or maturity. I'm just ready to make videos I enjoy making, make a lot fucking of them. And if YouTube wants to pump, push the channel, the channel grows, it grows. If it doesn't, I still have people that fuck with whatever I do. Um, but this bulk series, again, it's gonna be exciting. This is probably the, the most exciting bulk. When I say exciting, I mean it's gonna be changes quick, people. Um, that's all I wanna say for now. Again, I'm considering going daily with these videos, so uh, I could tell you tomorrow. So just stick around. Um, just know that this is gonna be the biggest transformation you've seen me go through. And that's the, that's the, that's the whole incentive of this series. Uh, I'm gonna film every single workout, mic'd up, thoughts. Uh, it, it's gonna be good, trust me. Um, I'm gonna go with, with the ball, as well. I'm gonna just roll with the ball. I don't know, even know if that makes sense. Again, let me take another sub of coffee. I'm still an instant coffee connoisseur. 
but uh, I'm going to be documenting food, training. Uh, if I do end up talking about all the other stuff, I'll document changes. But again, the changes that are going to happen to me in the next couple of months, it's going to be wild. And the reason I know it's going to be wild is because I've dabbled in little bits and had extreme changes. And now I'm, I'm seeing the pro card next year. And my message to the coach was, I want to triple in size. He said, no problem. We set something, we set something up. And today is day one of that. I literally just took her of that, walked in here, made a coffee, press record. Is this a seven minute long clip? I don't care. I needed to get all that off my chest just to like explain the series. But I guess this is it. Step one to every single morning, and I've been doing this for maybe a month, is greens and creatine. Now this is a knockoff brand of creatine, so I will not be promoing it, but Ghost Greens, it's, it's basically, I wanna get teens that I can easily forget about during the day because of business, training, just life, which is creatine and greens, both very important, especially creatine. And I'm taking roughly, I also have another glass of water, I'll explain that. I'm taking roughly 10 grams of creatine, which is controversial as fuck, but some people think five, some people think one gram per kilo or per 10 kilo of body weight. I guess everybody has their preferences, but I've done some research. Um, I'm okay with taking 10 grams as long as I'm staying hydrated as fuck. So 10 grams of creatine in, one scoop of ghost greens. And that's like staple that, that gets the morning started. Um, I do have a big ass package over there that I will hold up, open up in a minute. I think it's Ghost. Let me dry this here. Now I've been doing this for so long that that's probably 10 grams, boom. Yeah, but that's one thing I'd recommend. If there is something you know you need to do every day, like take pills or, I don't know, creatine, do it in the morning. First thing in the morning, where's my spoon? Did it sink? It sunk. Damn. That's a messy job. Yeah, get it done first thing in the morning. You don't have to think about it. You know it's checking a box towards the goals. And I mean, Greens are important, so is creatine when you train, so get that shit in. That's also another life tip is if you know something is a non-negotiable, make an action to do it without thinking. So I wake up like this in the morning, stroll in, and I instantly go greens, uh, creatine, and then an hour later I'll be like, did I take greens and creatine? But then I'm like, Glenn, you would never do that to yourself. Of course you did. Okay, I also chase it with a glass of water just for more hydration. If you are not staying hydrated on a bulk, you're missing out on straight gains. I'm prioritizing hydration, sleep, calories, which I'll get into uh, this year, other stuff, and training. I'm, I'm going monk mode with this bulk, people. I'm dead serious about this year, and I'm attempting daily too, so if I want to talk for 10 minutes, if you don't like what I'm talking about, just skip. Just skip, man. Because this is it, this is Glenn 2.0, this is the new content. I hope I didn't do a single jump cut. If I did, I'm proud. Green's creatine in. Let's crack on with this package. And water. Get your water in. Hundred glasses a day, that's a lie. A lot of water though. This shit's about to be exciting, people. Big ass package. I did rip the seal, but then once I had an idea of what it is, I didn't open it because I knew I was filming today. And people love packages, especially when it comes to gym supplements. It is what I thought, it's ghost. Okay, let's unravel this baby. We have whey protein, Cinnabon. Another shaker, I have 
an outrageous amount of shakers. If anybody wants a shaker, just comment. I will find you and give you a shaker. I have that much. Now, the new launch size. I still look. I've spoke to Ghost, well, connect at Ghost, and I asked politely. They need to take beta alanine out of the size. I, I, creatine has to be something that I need to take at any point in the day. And if I'm going to bed with creepy crawlies under the skin, it's not ideal. But it is what it is. That's the new Sour Strips collab, Rainbow. Here is what I'm excited to take today. We're going to take this today. Four session back, two weeks off. New flavor of, uh, of legend. It's a vibe. More protein. Look. We have chocolate chip cookie. This is honestly, you know there's flavors with certain brands that like new ones come out and they're intense, but they're flavors you like and you fuck with it for a while. But then you always end up going back to the OG. That's this right here. It's like monsters and stuff. You find a new flavor, you're like, this shit is it. But then you always find yourself sipping on that white monster again one day. Yeah, we have the pump. Man, I can't wait to train today, people. I've been on little to no calories, probably 1,700 for the last two weeks. I've been cooped up in the crib because of this. And today is the day where they said, Glenn, you may be released. So I'm excited, man, just to uh, get back at it. I will uh, run over calories and stuff in a minute. Hydration, key, bro. I might take some of this now. This is like, I would usually have had this in a second glass of water. It's just um, electrolytes. What's this? Another greens. I think this is pump peach. I hope my address isn't on that. And we have legend peach. And then, that. and then just a ton of samples. Yeah, man, I am excited. This is uh, the equivalent of a six-year-old walking into a candy store. I still see this, even though I'm with Ghost so long, and I've cabinets full of it, of that one, of that one. Even when I receive stuff that I have already, I still appreciate it and get excited. But um, yeah, I thought I'd open this package, everything Ghost, Code Glen. I'm gonna get this coffee in, do a bit of work. And then I feel like we should just, from then, crack on with this episode, people. Um, training, I may show post-workout meal, and I'll talk about calories. But I keep wanting to emphasize that this shit's about to be exciting. Like, very exciting. Like, I don't even know what I'm going to turn into. But I'm going to document it all like this, so you're going to literally see day-by-day day changes. Uh, I will do a physique update. I'm 183 pounds, as I said. Flat as fuck, this will be the first session, so I'll have to uh, I'll have to chill out. If I go in and start hockeying three plates onto the bench press, I'll end up in A&E. &E. And that's not how day one should be, all right? Day one should be in there, quick pump, get the, get the joints warmed up, lubed up, get blood, fresh blood into the muscle. Blood containing, we won't talk about it. <laughs> all right, man, coffee work, gym. Okay, people, here we go, day one. Day one of a split that I do not have. Chest G! Shout out Rich Piana. He is low key the inspiration for this type of content. I know there is others right now killing it with this form of content, but props to the OG, bro. Anyway, people, chest day, day one. I am gonna train chest side delts, maybe. I'm stuck between triceps and biceps. I usually like training biceps with chest just because I can just get like better quality of reps or exercises or sets done on biceps after training chest because triceps are usually fried after the pressing. Um, I also need to figure out this, this car camera angle. Um, it could be super bright, could be dark, could be a mess. You're on a tripod with the seat pushed back so it is what it is, man. Get a productions. This will be my first bit of pre in well over two weeks. Now, plan for the day, plan for the session. It's day one. I'm expecting nothing crazy today. I'm expecting to look 
the worst I'm gonna look for this for the rest of the bulk because again haven't trained in two weeks been on super low calories and again the subs haven't kicked in yet god I hope this isn't insanely bright it is what it is man we live and we learn also my split it's gonna change over the next few weeks I what I'm gonna do today is go back to what I would have done a couple of weeks ago on a chest day I don't want to jump in the gym just yet and start benching start doing movements that I haven't done in six months especially with a break like two weeks and no calories and it would just be a recipe for disaster so I'm gonna go back to what I know the last movements my body remembers keep it simple get in get the blood flow going today we'll also check out the physique once we get a pump I'm hoping two things the gym isn't busy and they're not blasting music uh, I'm also going to be training in a lot of gyms this bulk I'm going to I'm going to test out gyms all over Dublin I'm really looking for an old school like old ass equipment well lit gym it's usually the old school gyms that are quiet just because obviously spots like I'm in now there is a mix of commercial and bodybuilding gyms but you still get the average train the average person who trains in my gym so it's a mix of people who are serious about lifting young lads as well and then just your average person who's looking to get in get a session in keep the fitness levels up you know yeah, I'm also sipping on one scoop of legend please don't fall two scoop pump I'm not introducing the gamer just yet I've low-key taken, taken a break from caffeine too, so if I'm throwing in a scoop of legends, a scoop of game or two scoop pump straight off the rip after a two-week break, you probably will not hear from me again. So yeah, I'll make up my mind whether we're going to train triceps or biceps. And I guess you'll just see. It is going to be wild how strong I'm going to get on this bulk though. I'm gonna start benching again. I was considering deadlifts, but I don't think it's enough bang for, for a buck in terms of energy. I'll waste way too much energy deadlifting. Yeah, I could put that energy elsewhere into a row, into a pull down. Just something more beneficial for the physique. I feel like that's that's one of the biggest misconceptions of people who are just getting into the gym. You feel like if you just train like a bodybuilder, you're gonna look like the person you idolize when it's just not the case. You have the ability to sculpt people. So make sure your session is for you, it's for your body. How do you wanna look? Now I'm gonna figure shit out over the next few weeks. Uh, I'm gonna take you along for the ride, obviously. But today I'm gonna go in and do the OG workout. It's gonna be Smith Machine Press, Flat Chest Press, Flat Machine Chest Press. I may do another press or I may leave it at that. Again, it's day one. There's definitely going to be a fly. And then straight on to side delts, man. Side delts. And then again, once I make up my undecisive mind, whether I'm training triceps or, or biceps, we will, uh, will hammer some arms. I do have, or I do train arms a lot different than a lot of people. And arms is one of my strong points. So there's going to be a few takeaways from this video, I hope. Takeaways from this whole goddamn series. Anyway, I'm going to finish this pre. I, I, I've taken two subs and I feel it bro. This is about to be a madness Get to the gym. Hopefully the gym isn't crazy busy. Hopefully it's not crazy loud If I take a copyright strike on this video, so be it But I'm excited for day one man. I feel like I've taken a holiday a forced holiday You know when you're working so hard you need to take a break from work and shit And then when you go back you're refreshed ready to go That's me right now I'm excited. I, I need to take and nervous number two. <laughs> All right, that's too much. Let's get to the gym. Okay, people, I warmed up to what I would probably consider the last warm-up set. I'm also trying to figure out how I can still listen to music and have this hat on with the mic. I tried to put it on the T-shirt, but this was just hitting off it and shit, and it just sounded rubbish. Um, but I need to make this work because I'm not about to do an entire goddamn bulk and not listen to some Ken Carson or 
some play by carty this will do so yeah probably one set of this and then two plates i'm taking it easy today though i'm gonna leave a bit in reserve again I haven't trained in two weeks so prone to injury right now yeah plus i'm, I'm okay with taking it slow i'm not in a hurry to get strong i will be throwing in some movements to the split and taking some out so i may not even be doing this movement for too long but this is or has been one of my favorites for a while now let's go Honestly, I felt light. I just know from past that shit can feel good. And then you read them signs, push a little bit too hard and you're injured. And that's happened to me a lot. Especially with being the ripe age of 26. Okay, I'm not gonna take any rest on this. That last set was light, so. Okay. The bald head is out. Okay. This is definitely going to be top set. Maybe two sets of this. Um, but you know what? I'm going to do one set of this. Maybe three reps. Drop it down. I need to not um, let my ego get the better of me. Okay. Okay, probably shouldn't have done that. Man, it's two weeks off really bad to me. Should I leave two plates? Yeah, I'm gonna do a set of two plates. This is gonna be an interesting ride, people. You see me basically start from ground zero again. Everything just feels unfamiliar. I switch up the angle, maybe. How's that? Any different? Probably not. Okay, you know what? I don't really want music for this set. It does feel a little off. Feels a little more to this side, but oh well. <sighs> oh. Yeah, I'm gonna drop it again, man. You can let, oh look. I could easily be letting all this get to me right now. Like this is weight that a couple of weeks ago, I would have been throwing around for like 12 reps easy. And that's how I'm cutting calories. Well, even though I haven't eaten anything today to start the bulk. Yeah, that's probably the reason. No food. But um, this is weight that is less than a warm up weight to me so i was expecting this today i was expecting to come in and be humbled and that i am right now but it is what it is man it's if anything it makes this a bit more exciting doesn't it i'm sure we're going to be seeing new numbers on almost every lift every week well i'd hope if everything's on the money i'm only going to do one more set of this it's not really feeling the best but I just needed to get some incline in
Okay. I'm humbled. I'm humbled. I'm gonna leave that for incline. Let's go and do maybe a flat, flat chest press machine, and then some flies. I feel like you lot will get sick of hearing me say, this feels weird or this feels new, because everything goes right now. Okay, but this is probably one of my favorite chest machines. Ready to be humbled on every single one of them. I just know in maybe two or three weeks, probably less. I'll be uh, I'll be full stacking this easy. It's one of those machines that you can progress on easy, like a pin-loaded chest press. Um, but like I said, I'm going to be training in a lot of gyms over the next few weeks. There's some old-school bodybuilding gyms in my area I want to check out. I see to catch a vibe for them all light and how busy it is, music. Because with this style of content, I can't have, I can't have music too loud. Anyway, I need, I need music for this set. You can go, buddy. I'm gonna check out this angle looks. Okay, that was the last two sets. We're a bit bright, I apologize. But if this is too dark then, I guess I just fucked it. I know I said um, I'll be full stacking this in two or three weeks, but we're gonna full stack now. This, I promise this is the last bit of ego lifting of this session. Probably one more set of that. I'm holding back on volume too today. I don't want to overdo it on the volume as well. Like maybe two hard working sets of everything. And I have a lot of room to move this, this off season. done on this. Now it's choose whether I do close grip or close grip cables or wide. I'm seeing the wide but one of them says L of order I believe. I'll figure it out. Looks like we're gonna opt for close grip just because the one downstairs, the wider one which I actually prefer, is broke. Yeah, I'm gonna really feel this out. Flies is a hit or miss for me every session. I have a love-hate relationship with these. I feel like I'm not built for flies. I'm naturally like dominant front delts, and when I go onto something like a fly, 
unless my chest is extremely warmed up and pumped, it's a straight front out movement. But well, that felt good. I'm gonna do maybe two more sets of that. I'm not really counting reps, 10 to 12, and I'm happy. And then I guess it's on to side delts. I'm happy with that for chest, day one. Taking it easy. Not one more, sorry. Two more. I also, no, I'll keep that there. I'm gonna go a bit more out. I felt like that was a very decline. But this could be a bit too heavy to go straight out. No, it's good. I'm gonna drop it for the last one. I'm burning out. Maybe 15, 20. Rest time, non-existent. You know, sometimes I feel like as well with a fly, instead of inhaling and expanding the chest, I actually get a better contract contraction if I exhale. Just a better squeeze. I was wrong with the 20 reps. I'm going to leave it at that for chest. My shit is fried. I haven't had a chest pump in a long time. How is the side profile looking? Thick. Oh, remember to stay hydrated when you train, kids. Yeah, when it comes to side belts and stuff like that. I'm very old school with it. You'll really catch me doing like a cable cuffed lateral or anything of the sort. I'm usually, I stick to the fundamentals. It's either a generic lateral raise, dumbbells. I'll do maybe an upright row. I'll pick and choose each session. But today I'm going to do seated lateral raises. But yeah, we're going to do a set of the 10s, 10 kgs. This might be still a warm up. Probably jump up to the 12.5s, a couple of sets of that. And then I might do a machine lateral just to get work the shortened range. Okay. I can definitely jump up to the 12s. I'm also really excited to take an old school approach to this bulk. Like no crazy complicated movements, elbow cuffed lap pull downs or anything like that. I just don't enjoy that style of training and adherence is like number one, probably the number one factor to getting results in the gym is just adhering to this shit every single day, not missing a workout. You're gonna push yourself harder on a movement that you're actually enjoying. On a workout that you're enjoying. A lot harder than a workout, you know, you just need to get in and do it. Yeah, just a more old school approach. Barbell rows, dumbbell rows, laterals. A lot of free weight shit, I wanna start benching again. I'm just excited, man. Um, I've been through almost every stage you can go through with training. All the science-based movements, all the I've done powerlifting for a bit. The super high volume. There's many approaches you can take. But um, find whichever one you enjoy and just fucking run that shit into the round. Philosopher Glenn and this bitch. Okay.
Yeah, this feels weird. And keep in mind, I haven't even had a single meal of this bulk yet. I'm still basically fast that I had 30 grams of peanut butter and a banana just to hold me over. Yeah, we're done. Oh, this machine is one of my favorites. It's the one I prefer probably more than this is, you know, the standing one with the handles and the straight metal bars. And you can slide lateral out. That would be first, this would be close second. I also don't do it this way. I face in. I just feel like the, the angle in which the machine runs, it's up and back instead of up and forward. And I know that's like against how almost everybody says you should train, you should train side delts where it's in front of you. But for me, whatever way I angle myself, because I do single arm, I rotate in, and it's still, it's basically in that motion. It's still in front of me. So I'll just, I'll show you a lot instead of talking about it. So just like that, I could sit this way and it would be that angle, but it's just, I feel so limited with how this is. I'm not saying I'm like too broad for it, but it doesn't feel right. So I just, I just do that. I'll, uh, I'll face in towards the, the pattern, in towards, in towards the pattern, rotate in. I need the reps like this. Horrible, I count them. Was that the same reps each arm? I'm gonna do one more set of that. Drop the weight, pull the tens off, keep the fives on, and then I'll do I'll do both arms. We yeah, are really going for the top right, the top part here. So everything past this, that portion. I've already lost count. <sighs> Never know where to pull my fucking feet. Straight in, pull the tens off, and then burn these bitches out. All the way up with this. Oh. 
and have you all for the side deltoids. Oh, it feels weird breaking a sweat bead in a gym. Again, it feels foreign. I still haven't made up my mind whether I'm doing biceps or triceps. I'm probably gonna do triceps. Okay. When it comes to uh, triceps, I'm a simple man. Some form of push down, usually with an easy bar. The straight is just it's awkward on the wrist. Yeah, some form of overhead. And then anything after that is just a bonus really. Yeah, I'm genetically blessed in the sense that when I'm training limbs, i.e. arms or legs, I can do nothing and feel everything. So bless the Lord. But uh, obviously uh, I still put emphasis on everything. Anyway. Straight by push downs. Yeah, I'm gonna go heavier. I'm gonna go heavier. I also find that I can get really strong on arm movements really quick. But I don't really go heavy on biceps. Oh, I'll explain bicep training when it comes to it probably tomorrow. I'll hit biceps. But uh, today I don't mind loading on triceps again. I can just feel everything. Even if form is jacked up, I can still feel it where I want to feel it with triceps. So I'm blessed in that sense. Okay, first working set. Probably only going to do two. Full stack in this, by the way. One more surface. Somebody doing ball slams. I'm gonna try and get 10. No, I am gonna get 10. I'm gonna do one drop set real quick. Maybe 12 reps. Oh. Need to watch out for this hat. Okay, some form of overhead. And if I do more, I do more. If I don't, we're good with it. Overhead of choice today. Single arm dumbbells. Um, it's either between this, a skull crusher, or basically a, a cable skull crusher on an incline bench. But this is right here. I was just there. This seems like the move today. I'm going to start with the 15s. You should really be feeling this all across the long head. Oh, I'm gonna stick with the 15, that felt good. 12 reps. Probably another set, or two each arm, probably two, and that could be it for day one. Oh, this feels weird, the pump I have right now is suspicious, 
especially for being fasted 1500 calories yesterday. I'm probably gonna drop it for the last set. Fuck it straight into it, people. Let's finish the session strong. Fuck, that just fell down nowhere. You know what I just realized this session I'm I'm horrible at counting. I think I done 10 reps. Fuck. Wow, this arm is gone. Come on, bro. thing left to do folks and let's check the damage this is it people day one if anything I feel like this is gonna be I'm not gonna say the worst because I look good I feel like I look full this feels insane I haven't felt a pump like this or I was expecting a pump like this so quick but yeah probably I think what I'm trying to say is it's, it's only up from here with the physique, but with the beater on, I'm looking full. Now I need to figure out poses I'm gonna do because I want stuff consistent in this. But, I feel like the back is gonna look not its best because I haven't trained back in weeks, but. Oh, this shit's cramping. Check the back last spread. Yeah, I need to get used to pause and this is gonna be ground zero for this year. That looks insane. Yeah, people, that is the the starting physique, you're going to see me just morph. <laughs> and again, the reason I know that is because of what I'm doing to make it happen. <sighs> again, I'll get better with these angles and what angles look good with posing and shit. Because this could be rubbish. <sighs> I guess that's it. <sighs> Go home now and eat. First meal of the book. <laughs> Someone popping in there. Okay. Day one done. First post workout meal of the winter bulk is taking place. I came home, realized I had no food in the crib. So I'm left with some stale bagels from the fridge, some tuna, and some sweet corn. But I'm not complaining because I'm basically coming off a power cut. Anyway, people, the calories and macros that we're starting day one from. Calories, 3,030, carbs, 417, protein, 227, fat, 51. Protein will creep up over the weeks, just I'm waiting for the subs to kick in. Carbs and fats, calories in general, whether I up them, it will just go off weigh-ins. I just how I'm looking, man. If I'm looking like I'm getting leaner, calories go up. If the scale drops, calories go up. Um, and I'm probably drinking maybe maybe 40s a day, 
and they're 1.5 liter each. How much is that? Six liters. That's probably a lot. But I drink, I, I eat a lot of salt, so I'm a thirsty man. Yeah, I want to address something before I sign off. I put up a story on Instagram explaining the approach that I was coming, or the angle I was attacking this series from, and I had one reply, and the one reply I do want to respond to, it was copying Sam Sulek, someone that didn't even follow me. Just said copying Sam Sulek, which I completely understand if there's someone that doesn't know me or they are new to fitness. Like this style of content was around back in the day when I started watching videos, Hodge Twins, uh, Rich Piana, this was what it was. All I'll say is I haven't watched enough to copy. I'm just so fucking grateful for this lad to come along with a tripod, a phone, and bring the raw shit back. He did, he brought it back. Um, I've been saying I'm doing this series for months. I just wasn't certain what angle to attack it from. And if this stuff is, you could say relevant now, um, and again, all I can say is respect to him. But to say copy, I feel like when it comes to stuff like this, you can't copy. You can copy an approach, but I, I'm just being me, you know? It's just the angle I wanted to bring this series from. It was going to happen anyway. It was either going to be over the top, videographer, edits, or this. And I, I juggled which I could, I could adhere to. And this shit... I can make happen and it took somebody like him to come along and and bring it back so all I'll say is mad respect to the kid I know I think he's 21 but it's definitely heavily the approach is heavily inspired by him but it's similar to like Rich Pian and all the OG fitness content and again all you're going to get in this series is me so I don't I don't know how I can be a double off someone because I'm a weird ass motherfucker. But uh, definitely respect to the man. Heavily inspired this approach to this book. And again, this is the shit I watch, lads. I don't, I don't watch all the edits and, and, the, and the fancy, well put together, movie-esque videos. I don't watch that shit anymore. I'm, I've just outgrown it. I probably did when I was like 17. But the shit I watch is, is, is stuff like this, man. Just raw shit podcast without a single jump cut for two hours or again i've watched one or two of sam's videos and i've noticed there are videos that you can watch without watching you pop a video on like that and you're just hanging out with the person for for a while and that's just what it's just, just the approach that I'm, I'm coming at this series from so i wanted to uh address it in day one and then you will see comments on, on videos over time but the people who are around from today can just can just back it up in the comments. But um, again, I'm just focusing on me, the bulk, making videos. I'm grateful for him bringing it back. Um, but in terms of copying, there'll be none of that. It's just me, my training, my bulk. And that's it, people. That's day one. I'm going to get this video edited, uploaded. And tomorrow is back, back, rare delts and biceps. Uh, again, I'm excited to see how the body changes over these next few weeks. And I'm excited for, um, for daily videos. If you are too, drop a like. I won't really be asking much of this stuff. If you want to like a video, you can. Uh, any, any support on this series in general will be appreciated, man, because I am going to put a lot of work into this shit if I want to get daily uploads. Well, maybe like six videos a week, every training day. I guess that's it. Day one. It's a wrap. See you a lot tomorrow.